Good morning, everybody. How y'all niggas doing? I woke up in a good mood, but I didn't know screwing. That sounded ass, but whatever. Um, I seen something in my recommended, and it's another K-pop group by the name of Red Velvet, and I like Red Velvet Cake and Red Velvet Things. So why not react to a video called Red Velvet? Or us people, nigga. This is Red Velvet Power Up. That was a, that was a terrible intro. Okay, it's five. It's five of them. It's five of them. And it sounds like this is gonna be some bouncy shit. So, yeah. What the fuck is going on in this music video? Why is everything melting? Damn. Catchy as fuck, nigga. Damn, what the? It. Am I the only one that's like hypnotized by their eyes? I. I want to know who. Who? What? What racist motherfucker said Asian people have like, like eyes like that? Because that shit not true. Like, what the fuck? Some of their eyes bigger than mine, and I got big eyes. Like I got big ass eyes. You feel me? And theirs is like, it's just like piercing my soul, bro. Like, oh my god, am I the am I the only one that noticed that? Like, is that not scary to some of y'all niggas? Like, it's just, it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm very awkward when it comes to looking into the camera. I'm always looking at like me over here, you know, narcissism. <laughs> What's up, bitch? But um, yeah. Uh, I feel like if I look at myself looking at me in my camera on my computer, I get kind of nervous. Or like somebody looking at me in a video, I just feel like they talking to me and singing to me. I don't know. Is that part of the allure of this shit? I don't know. <laughs> this shit is very artificial. Like this is this is a very artificial sound. Very artificial. You know what I mean? I don't know. This is. Dip. I don't know. Oh, this is from SM Entertainment. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It's funny you could tell the difference between the like the K poppy people and big BTS and all these other people because you got SM Entertainment, big Big Labels, and JYP. Ah, see I'm catching on this shit. Let's finish this shit. Yeah. Hey, bitch, what? I have done nothing for the past two minutes. They have just been bullshitting for the past two minutes. I don't see no story in this goddamn song. No direction. Or am I just stupid? What the fuck? That's not what I fought, nigga! Bro, y'all have done nothing this whole fucking music video. Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, this... <laughs> this don't do shit for me, bro. Like, what the fuck? This is just... I don't know. What is this, a filler episode? Is this a filler episode in the in the, in the in the show of Sebastian? Like, the fuck, nigga? Like, Jesus Christ. Y'all niggas have not done any damn thing. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm not epileptic because this is hella colors and shit. And I don't know, whatever. Um, nigga, that was Red Velvet Power Up. I don't see a meaning by this goddamn song. The music video ain't do shit for me. I... Let's just go to the explained. I'm not gonna lie to you. After the first the first video, that's not BTS. I miss BTS. <laughs> what the fuck was this song, man? That's come out with a summer song called Power Up. This is a song that encourages the listeners to work hard, play harder, and not feel guilty about it. Nigga, what? And while it may just sound like a cute summer uh, bouncy bop, it captures the conflicting values between the millennials and the older generations. Hold on, how the fuck do you know that? <laughs> how can you get that from this? Okay. I must be... 
I must be close-minded or I just must be ignorant. I don't know. But how in the fuck do you get that from this? Let's keep watching, actually. In these lines, you learn that the narrator is likely an office worker. In South Korean office jobs, you will likely hear this phrase a lot. Uh, and I mean a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, this is because you don't really have working hours in office jobs. Well, you do on paper, but you will not go home until you finish your work. So if you haven't done any work at 3 p.m., you're not likely going home anytime soon. Oh, shit. Here, the narrator addresses her want for escape. An escape to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this like one of those songs where it'd be like a cry for help? But the music video is like distracting. Is this some supplemental, sh like subliminal shit that I'm not catching? Because that music video ain't had shit to do with office jobs, Nick. So I need I I would just shut the fuck up and keep listening because. My mind about to be blown. Play somewhere if this is going how I think it's going to go, my mind about to be and blown. Now this line is a bit of a fun play of words because uh, the word hotter or digokke is often digokke. used to describe passion or arousal in Korean. So not only is she wanting to escape the summer heat, but it seems like she's also wanting to follow her passion. Escape from her dreadful job and follow her passion. Mm. talks about going on a plane to Kauai, which is an island of Hawaii. This is her imagining of the ultimate summer escape. Oh, fuck. My nigga, I thought that meant she was going to jump out of a plane into the water. Oh, my mind is fucking crazy, nigga. I thought this was about suicide. Holy shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> With these lines, the narrator is encouraging the listener to do whatever you want, want whatever you want, and to essentially follow suit. Uh, you can clearly see that the intended listener, the audience, was Me. Uh, students or uh, student. people in jobs that they don't want to be in. I'm Oftentimes in Korean culture, expressing your wants, your desires, explicitly is considered very immature. So lots of people end up living lives based on social pressure and social construct that is applied to them. This song essentially encourages the listeners to do whatever you want, even if it's a vacation to Hawaii. Yeah. Currently in South Korea, there is a very strong conflict between the older generations and the millennials. Uh, the older generations, they grew up in a developing country when South Korea was still in its developing state. And they valued hard work and long hours, working long hours more than anything. Whereas the millennials, they grew up in a developed country, so they don't value work over their lives. They, they actually value the quality of their lives more than anything. So these older generations who manage these companies that the millennials work in, they view the millennials who quit work because of the lack of work-life balance as weak. And in return, the millennials end up feeling very guilty whenever they take a break or vacation because they feel that they're doing something wrong. They feel that they need to perhaps take work more seriously like the older generations did. This is made worse by the extreme youth unemployment crisis inside of South Korea right now. And basically, a lot of these millennials, they feel like they're getting behind the competition when they take a break from work. So the millennials even feel conflicted within themselves. They want to value quality of life, yet they feel guilt. They feel like they're left being left behind whenever they take a break. And Real Velvet is saying, it's okay. Work when you want to work. Play when you want to play. Is Do whatever it? you want. Okay. All right, nigga ain't say bye, goddamn. Okay, motherfucker. All right, well, shit. Um, that still ain't do shit for me, but I guess, nigga. I said I like Red Velvet, and I looked at Red Velvet. 
I won't be looking at these niggas again or these women's again. But this is a nice little message though. That's what's up. But uh, nevertheless, if y'all enjoyed, well, did y'all enjoy this? If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe, you know, turn on my post notifications, and tell your friends about me. I have nothing else to say. But thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all be easy. All right? All right. That, I feel like I wasted my time. And I don't. I. Ugh. It was a good song, though.